remember Jonah is called to preach to his enemies the Ninevites and Jonah nor his people like them at all yet and still Jonah goes to preach to tell them what thus says the Lord and he watches them get saved but at the same time remember Jonah is socially conditioned not to like these folks but he is also morally called to preach to them and to make sure that he does what God told him to do. Jonah is upset because this ain't what he signed up for. Jonah's upset because this is not what he wanted to happen to these people. Jonah wanted these enemies to suffer, to get hurt, to fall, to crumble, but instead they get saved. And when Jonah sees this, he prays, Lord, take my life. Because he would rather be stuck in his convictions. He would rather have things go his way. He would rather see his enemies fall than to live to see them changed. Can I share with you that many of us in here have some Ninevites in our head. Look at me, don't look at nobody else. Look at me. And to tell you the truth, let's be honest in the church. There are some times in which we pray to God, Lord, don't hurt them, but just let them trip in the hallway at least. It's, it's something. We're so bent on getting people back being stuck in our hateful ways that we want to hurt them. But we never prayed that God would help them. And I get it, some, some folks were nasty and, and some folks were mean and some folks were cruel to the things they did to you. But, but don't you allow hatred to fester in your heart so much that it makes you do the very things that you don't like somebody else for. I know it's tight, but it's right, here it is. Be careful not to uh, uh, demonize your enemies. Be, be careful that you don't dehumanize your enemies. Be careful that you don't other your enemies because by doing so, you negate that they were made by God just like you were. Which means that the folks who did you wrong were made by God. The same folks who talked about you behind and in front of your back, they made by God. The family member that's crazy as whatever, they made by God too. The friend who stabbed you in the back multiple times, they're made by God. Joe Biden and Donald Trump, they made by God too. And I know for some of these folks, we want God to get them. We want to sick God on them. We want God to make them pay for what they did for all the years of pain and sorrow and all the time that they wasted. I know we desire for God to trip them up. I know we want God to get them all together. But hear me, what if God? instead of judging and condemning and getting them back actually has a plan to save their life what if god wants to heal the person who hurt you so that they don't hurt you or anybody else again what if god wants to help the person you won't forgive what if God wants to reconcile the person who you keep side eyeing? What if God wants to change and transform those who have been against you? What if God wants to help save those you've been calling heathen? What if God wants to give salvation to people you've been trying to send to hell? Maybe this is why the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, but I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless those that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. Pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. I know y'all didn't like that, but let me give you another in 1 Peter. It says, do not repay evil for evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because to this you were called so that you might inherit a blessing. And I know for some of us, you've already tuned this preacher out. 
because the folks I like and can tolerate are over here. And the folks who are my enemies, I keep them over there. And I don't like to deal with them folks. But hear me, God's plan is to reveal his love to everyone. Somebody shout everyone. So that all might be changed and saved and delivered.